Hey guys, Cody here with another tutorial for Unreal Engine 4. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use a free online leaderboard system in your Unreal Engine projects. Okay, so to get started, let's head over to the epicleaderboard.com website. And this website's uh, completely free, so just drop down over to the Getting Started section and select the engine version that you are using. In this case, I'm using 4.11. Download that project. Okay, so the next step, uh, once you've downloaded the project, is we're gonna copy over everything in here except for the actual UE project itself. And I'm just gonna drag it, drop it right into my project folder. And whenever I'm prompted, uh, just go ahead and select skip these files so you don't overwrite anything. And that'll get you all the appropriate uh, files you need, like the plugin. And after that, you should be able to go ahead and run your project. And you now should see the Epic Leaderboard folder. And here you can see a demo map, so we can hit play and test this. And as you can see, it's working. It's grabbing uh, scores online and submitting them here. We can refresh. And let's see if we can submit a score. Test one, two, three, four, five. Score will be 50. Submit score. And there you go. So everything seems to be working. Uh, if you're having issues uh, with it not working properly, make sure you might want to rebuild your project or recompile it if it's C++, uh, but that shouldn't be necessary. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is actually implement the leaderboard into our current game. So in this example, I've built a Minesweeper game, and I hold all of the important information within my game instance. So here you can see a bunch of variables and the most important things that I'm looking for in regards to the leaderboard is the player's name and the player's score. So here they're represented by name and elapsed time. So since I have these within my game instance, that means I can reference them anytime within the leaderboard, making it relatively easy to implement. Okay, so let's head on over to our Epic Leaderboard demo widget. And over in the graph section, this is where basically all the logic happens. So here you can see submit score, clean up uh, text box, etc., etc. So whenever I want to submit a score, that's going to happen right here. And right now it's currently set up to a button, submit score. But we don't want that so we're going to delete this button we're going to delete a score input and we're going to delete the username input because i want to have that information held somewhere else so back over here we're going to need to reorganize this just a bit so instead of clicking to submit we want to have a custom event so we're going to type in custom event Submit score. Okay, and we're going to plug this bad boy in here. Okay, and now the next thing we want to do is on event construct, we want to create that reference to the game instance I was talking about earlier. So we're going to do get game instance. And I'm going to cast it to my game instance. And then I'm just going to drag off of here, promote this to a variable. We'll call it game instance rep. And continue to hook that up. Okay, so now we have our game instance reference, so we can access the name, the username and the user score. So right now, the username and score is being input uh, right here through this variable, but we're going to be changing that. So we'll grab our game instance ref. And from here, we're going to get our name. And then we will get our elapsed time. OK. 
Okay, and we can go ahead and replace this. with our game reference information. Okay, so once these references are replaced, we're good to go there. So now we just need to make sure that we're inputting them properly from our game side. So to do that, um, I'm gonna head over to a different widget. Which is gonna be my in game menu win and here I've created a text box and if I jump over to the graph you can see on text commit this is going to update the player's name within the game instance so you can set this up however you want it's up to you um, but in this case I have it set so whenever the player wins the game this message pops up the user is then able to enter their name and then submit time and then there's the submit button. Now the submit button is going to create a new widget. So let's do that now. So I'm going to take this button and I believe it's on release. Here we go. On release, it's going to hide the win panel, but we also want it to bring up the leaderboard. So we will create a widget. We're going to choose the demo widget. We're going to add this to our viewport and we're going to get the function or the custom event that we made before called submit score. So that's going to call that custom event. So it's going to get our game instance information and upload it to the leaderboard. Uh, next, we need to do some simple stuff like show mouse cursor, set input mode. This is kind of optional, but you might want to use this, especially if you want to be able to click the buttons on the demo and compile and save. OK, so what we've done is whenever I win the game, this this message pops up. We can then submit our name to our game instance reference. It's going to automatically submit our score uh, to the game instance reference. And once we click this button, it's going to hide this, uh, hide this widget and bring up our demo widget and also submit our current name and current score. So within our uh, demo widget, we can now remove this cleanup username and cleanup score. Uh, we don't really need this for our purposes. And you should be able to then compile and save. Okay, so I'm just going to move this up a little bit. Let's go ahead and test it and make sure it's working. So I'm going to click on custom game uh, in this example here and just make one mine so I can do it real quick. Okay, so now my one, uh, win screen has popped up. It's captured my lapse time. Here I can enter my name. So we'll do uh, test name five and submit time. Test name five shows up and the appropriate uh, score showed up as well. So it looks like it's hooked up and good to go. Okay, so now that that's working, uh, I think the, the last thing that we really need to do is set up our own personal leaderboard uh, that's unique to our game. So let's do that really quick and how we'll do that is head back to the Epic Leaderboard website. Go ahead and make an account on here. Okay, so once you've logged in, all you have to do is up at the top in the dashboard section is click Create Leaderboard. And here you can set up your leaderboard name. So I'm just going to call this Test Leaderboard 5. You can decide if a higher score is better or lower score is better and in this case lower score is better do you want to have a score limit i'm going to make it one uh, with no max score and we also probably want to have the decimals after it because it is a time 
So once you've set that up how you want, hit create. Should pop up here in your list. So let's see. Test leaderboard five. Next, click on the manage button. And here you can see all the people who submitted uh, their score, uh, their name, etc. Uh, but next we need to click on the show keys button. Now this is important. This is going to show us the keys that we need to use for it to connect properly. So once you click on this, go ahead and copy the leaderboard ID. Head back into your project. Head over to the demo widget. And up here in the setup leaderboard section, you just need to replace these keys with your information. Okay. Just like that. Compile, save, and let's go ahead and test it. Mid time and as you can see it seems to be working I'm the only person here let's go back to our to the website and here you can see it was updated on the website updated this nice little graph you can also remove any uh, scores if you think they were submitted by a cheater or something like that so you do have access to manage it and that's pretty much it all right uh, so I think the last uh, bit that we can get into is simply styling it. Uh, that's really quite simple. All the styling can be done within the, let me uh, exit here. All of the styling can be done within the Epic leaderboard folder. So you'll see we have a couple widgets. You can just uh, adjust them how you see fit, change the font change the colors really anything you want to do in here as far as styling goes so I'm updating the leaderboard frame all these different elements and that should give you a unique feel and as I was saying before uh, if you do want to have like a back button or main menu button you're going to be doing that in the demo widget so I would just create a button say here that said main menu and I would make uh, this hooked up to on release something like open level main menu something like that okay so that's pretty much it for the tutorial uh, I hope this was helpful for you guys it's a really easy free system and it's completely multiplayer oriented so if you have some kind of arcade style game or something like that this can really add a lot of value to it and it's free cheap and quick so I hope this has been helpful to you guys thanks for watching my name is Cody, and I will see you guys on the next Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Take care.